Mercedes' performance in Australia was undoubtedly the most disturbing of their season thus far, with the Silver Arrows having arrived in Melbourne hopeful that the Albert Park circuit would suit their W15 car. Those expectations failed to materialize in Friday's opening practice sessions. On Saturday the apparent speed disappeared when it mattered. With Hamilton making an early exit in qualifying, while Russell could only manage seventh. The race provided little consolation as Hamilton retired after an engine failure, while Russell crashed. According to James Allison, Mercedes has started seeing patterns emerge, most weekends we have a period in the weekend where we are feeling good about the car, confident about the car, but then in the paying sessions, in qualifying, and the race, that slips through our finger. If we were trying to draw that pattern together, then probably the strongest correlation that we can make at the moment is that our competitiveness drops when the track is warm. When the day is at its warmest and therefore, the tire's temperatures rise with those of the track, the times when we have been at our best have been all in the sessions which are the coolest. So that gives us some clues about what we need to do as we move forward from here. But from FP3 to qualifying in Melbourne there was not a setup change. With expectations clearly reset after the disappointment of Melbourne, Allison admits that Mercedes will need to take a highly experimental approach to this weekend's Japanese Grand Prix. There is concern that the Suzuka circuit's characteristics could prove particularly challenging for Mercedes, while Red Bull, Ferrari and McLaren all appear to be confident of maximizing their packages. It's a track with plenty of fast corners and also some slowish hairpins, so a real test of the car, Allison added. Our job will be to make sure that we are attacking some of those things I discussed earlier. The tire temperatures issue, the high to low speed balance and all the activities between now and then, will be to try to work out in the simulator to see what we can do in simulation to influence those things. Then it will be about making sure that we design the program for Suzuka, so that we can execute that on the limited time that there is available and to make sure that we give enough time to getting stabilized temperatures in tires. Constructing a program that will allow us to check not just that the car is okay on single lap, but also over stabilized temperatures when we are more in sort of race mode.